As I've been stating in my messages on sequestration, I view sequestration as a powerful storm on the horizon. Like a hurricane or, like a hurricane or a strong nor'easter, its impacts can be significant and its path is still somewhat unpredictable. And its effects are now being felt now before it even reaches us. And while BAE Systems is doing the best it can to prepare for this storm, it is still very concerning for us. Senator Ayotte and I just got a tour of the jam lab here, which is very impressive to see the innovative research and development that's going on there. And one of the things we talked about is the fact that there's a lag time as we look at developing technology to address our national security concerns. And what sequestration would do, not only in the short term, but in the long term, is to severely affect our ability to address our national security needs. When we talk about our men and women in uniform and keeping faith with them, that's you, too, because you are hand in hand with them, the silent partners that are with them when they are in harm's way. So I want to thank you all for what you do for our country. You are patriots, and we appreciate it. We all know we have $16 trillion in debt. We've got to address it, but we cannot create a national security crisis on top of our fiscal crisis. That if we cut $55 billion out of the defense budget on January 1, 2013, that may not be as easy to do. It will be disruptive, it will be counterproductive to American security, and it is so unnecessary because we know in the end that America cannot survive with a gutted defense, which is what we would end up with if this were to go through. This whole crisis that we face with sequestration was totally predictable and totally avoidable. You need to fight. You need to let the state and the country know what it means to work for Americans, for the freedom of Americans, for the safety of Americans, and for our world-class warriors who serve and protect all over this world. Look, time's short. Congress gets back to work today, and it's going to be a real fast sprint to the elections. Please, please stand up. Urge our leaders to put politics aside and find a practical, bipartisan, common-sense solution to sequestration.